Good morning, Brad. This is Parker out here with Terry Henricks. Just wanted to put together a quick video. Uh, I find this is the best way to kind of go over the condition uh, cosmetically of vehicles. It's also been sitting here, I don't know how long, long enough to get a little bit of dust on it. Um, so it's gonna be a cold start. It's just locked. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cold start it, but I wanted to point out any scratches I see. There's a couple here and some little ones here. Um, pretty faint up here, but these are in the paint a little bit Working our way back. There is some gunk under the Tacoma that's not scratches that wipes right off um, and then You'll notice a few little smudges In the paint here. There's some touch-up paint here that I'm noticing Looks like it's been touched up Um, this is just a plastic coating. A lot of folks think that this is a scratch here, but this coating extends down here to protect from some of these rock chips that you're seeing on the paint. It looks like those are wiping off because they're on that plastic coating. There's a little scuff here. And there's a lot of little stuff down the side too. There's one here, but there's a little tiny you can probably see them in the video, little tiny scratches and scuffs. I think a lot of those would buff out, um, like some of these. That one right there should buff out. There's a lot of little ones like that. Um, but touch up paint here. Looks like whoever touched it up went a shade darker with, <laughs> with the paint because that is not quite navy. Or this shade of blue, I guess it's a bit darker. Scuff here. Well, actually, that wipes off. Okay, most of that will buff off, but this is touched up here as well. Back to the rear bumper. There is a little ding, if you can see that. It actually looks worse from right here in the video. It's not too terrible, but it's right on the tailgate right there. Um, and then some touch-up work done here as well. So... Looks like the tailgate's been worked, been used for sure. Inside of the bed looks pretty good. It's got a liner. That is always very nice to see. Nice hard tonneau cover too. And then we'll look down this side. I don't see any dings or dents. There is some molding going on here like like they attached this fender again I want to check the other side and see what that looks like okay so this just has some trim here and this has whatever this is so that's interesting I would look I can send over the Carfax I would look for damage reported um, probably moderate damage potentially if it's on there to this uh, rear passenger side of the vehicle because that is not honestly some of that black band is still there it's just kind of like painted over it's a little bit strange i'll have to look over the carfax and see if there's anything major indicated um, but same thing over here there's a longer scratch here i think that is pretty pretty light. I think that could potentially buff out. Um, it does of course have scratches under the handle. Those you'll see on every vehicle. They're typically worst on the driver door, but that just happens with people's nails as they open the door and whatnot. There is a, oh, that wipes off. It is a little bit dirty right now. Nothing terrible, but just dusty, dirty. And then across the front, you've got this bug guard. Typically, we find a ton of stone chips, bug etching. So this is covering that, which is nice. Um, you won't notice any damage under there. We're going to go ahead and hop in, check out the interior. Back seats look to be in really good shape. There's a little white paint or something there panels are in good shape. 
Uh, roof as well. Roof looks to be in good shape. I'm not seeing any hail damage or anything like that. There is a hole in the seat here, a little one. It's got some nice floor mats. Hop in and see if we can fire it up here. Starts right up, even on a chilly morning. No issues with that. You typically wouldn't expect that with a Tacoma. <laughs> they are supposed to be bulletproof in almost all scenarios. Everyone really likes these things. I love them, I'm a big fan. Seen them with crazy, crazy miles on them. This one only has 60,000. It's probably got 300,000 to go before the end of its life. So that's what they're known for. Uh, seems to be in great shape mechanically. I'm gonna pull it forwards. Not hearing anything funky. I'm gonna drive this one back to our Chrysler dealership and I'll note anything um, that I'm seeing, but I had the steering as far to the left as it could get and there's no binding or anything like that. So seems to drive out pretty well. Um, mechanically seems to be in great shape. It's got its few cosmetic things and whatnot. Somebody likes Outcast on the radio, a little hey ya. But overall seems to be in really great shape. Uh, there is a tire pressure sensor. I'm gonna see if one of the tires is low. I'll run that back to the service department and just inflate all the tires. If that stays on, it could be a sensor. With how cold it is, it's likely just um, a low tire um, in terms of pressure. So overall looks to be in good shape. I'll get this uploaded and sent over. Um, and if it's in good shape, checks out for you. We'll look forward to seeing you later on today. Thanks again, Brad.